Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Um, something a little bit special today. Um, today we got a uh, hundred subs. You know, for a lot of people that's no big deal really, but honestly I never expected even hell to get like 20, you know. Um, so it, it's a bit of a big deal like for me, you know. I feel it right there, you know. Um, never expected it, but here we are, right? So what I decided to do, I'm going to do uh, my top 100 Blu-rays. Uh, they're in no particular order. They're just, uh, just you know, as I pull them off the shelves. Um, you might notice some pauses and jump cuts. Um, I'm going to be breaking this up into probably four parts and then editing it all together. So... If you see a jump cut, you know, that's what it is. I'm not the greatest editor in the world, so I just kind of go with what I got, right? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to start off. Uh, you got some box sets, got some single releases, you know, kind of all over the board. But, you know, here we go. First up, uh, The Mutilator. I really love this flick. This was, um, I think it was last year it came out. Uh, 2016, yeah, I think if I remember right, I said it was uh, the release of the year. Good solid slasher flick, really good. Then we got uh, Never Sleep Again, which is uh, kind of like the the definitive Nightmare on Elm Street behind the scenes thing. How long is it? It's like you know, four hours or something. Great stuff, great, great flick. Next we got uh, City of the Living Dead. This is from Arrow. Um, this is the UK Arrow. And I, I've always liked these ones because they got like the literal like four different covers and you know and loaded with features and just an all around good release. Um, yeah, City of the Living Dead. Next we got uh, Full Metal Jacket in a media book. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite war movies. So yeah. Full Metal Jacket. Great stuff. Then we got uh, Evil Dead 2. Uh, what else can you say about it? It's Evil Dead 2. And um, this particular release is from uh, Alliance, I think? Alliance Gate, maybe? Alliance Gate, I think. And um, it pretty much has every special feature that's ever been included on any Evil Dead 2 release. So, yeah. Next we got uh, The Wicker Man, the final cut. This is the, again, the British Blu-ray. It's a three disc set and it actually has um, the final cut, the theatrical cut, and the director's cut of The Wicker Man. This is, you know, the, the proper Wicker Man, not the not Nicolas Cage abomination. So yeah, good stuff. Then we got Army of Darkness. Don't really need to say anything about this. You know, this is the Scream Factory three disc set. You know, with uh, three different cuts of the movie. Always a good thing to have. Then, uh, Clockwork Orange, media book. Um, I like these media books, you know. I don't usually go reading through them a lot, but it's just neat to have something a bit different packaging-wise, you know. So, yeah. Then we got uh, Falling Down, the media book. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite movies of all times. Um, it's just a really solid... I, I guess you could, even, like, I don't know if you could call it a revenge flick or like, or what, but it's just a really good movie. If you've never seen Falling Down, you owe it to yourself. Give it a shot. Next up is another media book for Little Shop of Horrors. Um, this movie is a classic. It really is. Um, you know, it, it's always been fun. Yeah. Next, we getting kind of more into box set of things. We got uh, Twin Peaks, the entire mystery. I've, I've always liked this particular release of it with the all the different like again I'm a kind of a sucker at times for different packaging so something like that really appealed to me <laughs> then we got this is another all time favorite the Vengeance Trilogy this is from um, Tartan and this particular release is all, all the Blu-rays obviously but uh, it's through Tartan, where um, I know they did another release, uh, like a value package type one, from some other company, uh, but 
if you're a fan, you go for this. You know, it costs more, but it's worth it. Next, we got Akira Kurosawa's Kagemusha. This movie is just beautiful. It really is. Um, and the Criterion release is top of the line. Yeah. Another Criterion, we got uh, Kaidan or Kaidan. Uh, that's the phone. I'm not going to answer it. Uh, yeah. Next up, we got uh, Dune. This is the Japanese Blu-ray. Um, did an unboxing of this and a review. Um, really solid if you're a fan of Dune. It, it's worth getting because it has the the TV, the extended TV version as well. And it's kind of like the only time on Blu-ray that it's been out there, you know? So, kind of neat. Next up is Cannibal Holocaust from uh, Grindhouse Video. Grindhouse Releasing, my bad, sorry. Uh, really, really solid release. Um, you know, if you're going to buy this, you know what you're getting yourself into, let's be honest. So yeah, Cannibal Holocaust. Great stuff. Cannibal Ferox, uh, also through Grindhouse Releasing. Um, same basic stuff as Cannibal Holocaust. Next we got the Blade Runner media book. I love this edition again. It's a media book, which is always good. Um, it's got like three cuts of the movie again, I think. Is it three or four? One, two, three, four, uh, five. Five cuts of the movie. So yeah, great stuff. Next we got uh, Martyrs. This is the UK Blu-ray. Um, for some reason, in Region 1, we've never got... Uh, We've never got a proper Blu-ray release of Martyrs. I don't know why, but it deserves better than it's getting it gets. You know, yeah, so. And next we got the Halloween Collection. This is the, obviously, the hard box edition. Um, all the movies. Great set, really. Um, when did this come out? Uh, I don't know. I seem to think it was 2016, but you know, again, for whatever year, this is one of the top releases for that year. Yeah. Okay, next we got uh, Prince of Darkness from Scream Factory. Really solid release. It's good to see this movie get the love it deserves, because it's a highly underrated John Carpenter film. People forget about this all the time, and it's a damn shame, because it rocks. Devil in pit of goo under the a jar of goo under a church it's awesome it just really is next up we got a uh, end of the road this one actually i got from the the producer blaine moyer um I, i'd been looking for it couldn't find it you know so i contacted him and uh hooked me up you know it was like cost me like getting five bucks in shipping or something it was really worth it so it's a short werewolf film it's about like eight minutes long if i remember right and it's one of the best werewolf films I've ever seen. You know, so yeah. End of the road. Great stuff. Next, we got uh, The Last Will and Testament of Rosalind Lee. This is a German Blu-ray because for some reason, like, I mean, hell, this was filmed in Canada. I live in Canada, and we only got a DVD release over here. I don't get it, personally. But a uh, really solid, creepy little flick. You know, it's it's a shame, though, that I had to order it from Germany just to get a Blu-ray copy, you know. Next up is uh, Last Shift. This was a good flick, good little, um, I don't even know whether you could call it a ghost flick, kind of. Um, it, it's a solid flick, let's put it that way. Good stuff. Then we got uh, Clive Barker's Dread. This is, again, a German Blu-ray. Um... Yet again, you know, it was it was made in the U.S. Obviously, they had a uh, you know a high def print that they could uh, use, but we we only got a DVD over here for some reason. I, I don't I don't get it. I really don't. Next up, we got the Dune miniseries. This is again a German Blu-ray, um, simply because we don't have a Blu-ray of the Dune miniseries. You know, um, we've also got the Children of Dune Blu-ray. But that's not in this particular <laughs> group of favorites. Um, good miniseries, you know. Uh, it's worth seeing, definitely. 
Next up is Godzilla. This is the legendary um, edition, you know, the the remake, the American remake. Um, I A lot of people didn't really like it, um, and I mean, there wasn't a lot of Godzilla in it, but what was was really good, and uh, this particular release looks beautiful, and I love the Steelbook. I really do. Uh, on the same note, we got uh, the original Godzilla from Criterion. It was great to see this get, you know, the the love it deserved. Again, you know, um, it, it's a great flick. It really is. Next, this is a bit of a newer buy. I got a Graveyard Shift. This is the Spanish Blu-ray. Um, it's all region, though, so that's always a plus. Um, you just can't find a Blu-ray of, of Graveyard Shift pretty much anywhere. You know, I think there's one in France under the title of Rats. And there's this one. And uh, this was a hell of a lot cheaper, so that's the one I got. <laughs> Next up, we got Candyman, for, again from Britain. And again, it's, it's, it's something that for some reason does not have a Blu-ray release over here in Canada and America. I don't know why. It deserves it. It's, it's an awesome flick. Next up is Corpse Party. This is one I was really surprised at how much I liked it. I wasn't expecting much going in. But I was pleasantly surprised. Good amounts of gore and everything. Really good stuff. And we got uh, Nightbreed. This is the two disc um, limited edition. Uh, 4,249 of 10,000. So, yeah. Uh, great stuff. You know, the director's cut is a masterpiece. And the original was a flawed gem, to say the least. Next we got uh, the Dust Till Dawn trilogy. Again, this is the UK one simply because, you know, all of these come with, you know, like the first disc is completely loaded with features. And the release we have over here, you know, it just tends just to be bare bones. I don't know why. So yeah, that was a good buy and pretty cheap too. And we got uh, Day of the Dead. This is another one of those Arrow... Um, multi-cover, you know, four-cover versions, you know. Um, I really dig these type of releases from Arrow. They're from, they're from back in the day. I don't think they really do these releases anymore. And it's a shame because they're really, they're really fun. Uh, in the same vein, we got Dawn of the Dead. Again, same thing, you know, uh, four covers to choose from. Uh, come here, you bastard. That fell out. Um, you know, four discs. No, three discs, my bad. Um, really solid release. Uh, looks good. Nice, a lot of features on it. Different cuts of the movie. An all-around uh, solid release. And I mean, um... I know people really like the Scream Factory release of it, and that's cool, you know, but um, I got this back before that was even out, and I don't regret it to this day. Next we got uh, Night of the Living Dead. This one is uh, Japanese Blu-ray, um, and to this date, I think it's, it's possibly one of the best prints and everything of the, of the movie I've ever seen. And it's loaded with features. It's got like commentaries and everything. It's top of the line stuff, really. Next, we got uh, Crystal Lake Memories. This is the like definitive Friday the Thirteenth documentary uh, to go with the Nightmare on Elm Street one. Great stuff. This 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 one is really long. I think this is about four hundred minutes. So you know, hell of a long time. Really great. Cover every movie. Really solid. Next we got uh, Lone Wolf and Cub. This is all one, two, three, four, five, all six movies, you know, from Criterion. Good stuff. Good release. You know. Next is uh, the Alien Anthology. Uh, this is, again, the British one, as you can see from the logos. Um, but it's exactly the same as the American one, and it's actually region free as well. So, you know, yeah. Next is Battles Without Honor and Humanity box set. Uh, these are some great, 
great Yakuza flicks. Um, this is the, from Arrow Video, this is the, the U.S. release, the Region A. Um, you can get it in Region B in Britain, and it's pretty much just the same from what I know. So, yeah. Next, we got uh, Black Sunday with uh, Barbara Steele, the Mario Bava collection from uh, Kino. Real solid flick, creepy as anything. Give it a shot if you've never seen it. Good stuff. Then uh, Midnight Meat Train. This is one of the most criminally underrated films ever made. Um, and it was completely screwed over by Lionsgate on the initial release. And it deserves more love than it gets. Yeah. Then we got uh, Metropolis. Uh, this is a steel book from uh, Masters of Cinema. It's a Eureka Films. Uh, beautiful edition. Great movie. Great set. Good stuff. Next is uh, M. Again from Eureka Masters of Cinema. Um, by Fritz Lang. Um, I love this movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. This particular release has both the original German and the British version. The German one's far superior, to be honest. Um, good stuff, though, definitely. And then we got uh, Flesh for the Beast. This isn't the best Blu-ray in the world, but the movie itself is just fun. And, you know, it's just... I, I always have fun with this one, so it's on, it's on the list, you know? Next up is The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Um, this is the version with the alternate cover art, which like, I think it was like a Walmart exclusive or something like that. Um, really solid flick. Good Blu-ray. Definitely. We got Night of the Demons. This is the Scream Factory. Um, loaded with features. Um, this is another one that's good to see getting the love it deserves. Then we got Late Phases. Night of the Lone Wolf, um, werewolf flick, pretty damn good. Um, it's the werewolves themselves are, can be a little iffy, but it's still worth seeing. It's a really solid flick. Next is uh, Donnie Darko from Arrow Video. This is the British UK release. Um, it was just cheaper than the American one, honestly. So yeah. Next is a bit of a blast from the past. Here we got. Um, Halloween double feature. Um, what's interesting about these is these are the theatrical cuts of Rob Zombie's Halloween and Halloween 2. And they're not included in the box set for some reason. I don't know why. But, uh, so if you want the theatrical cuts, like I'm a bit of a completist, so I need to have it. Um, this is how you get it. And it's, they're pretty good, I gotta admit. Next up is La Herencia Valdemar. Otherwise known as um, the Valdemar Legacy. And these are Spanish films. This is a Spanish Blu-ray. And um, they have a distinction, if you will, as being the last film uh, Paul Nashi was in before he died. You know, which is a bit bittersweet, honestly. But it was still good to see him. Um, Lovecraftian horror. Really good stuff. Uh, the Blu-ray is... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it does have subtitles. Um, I don't know if it's all region or not. I can't remember. But it's a really solid flick and it's worth looking, like, worth trying to find, definitely. Next is Just Franco's A Virgin Among the Living Dead. It's, it's, it's your typical Just Franco movie, let's be honest. But it's a nice Blu-ray edition. Next is The Void. Got this, uh, this is a British version. Mainly because the one over here, it was uh, exclusive to Diabolic DVD, and I just didn't want to pay those prices when I could get this for like five pounds. So that's what I went with. <laughs> Next is uh, Lord of Tears by uh, Laurie Brewster. Really good flick. Um, Laurie Brewster is someone to watch, definitely. Um, comes out with some genuinely good stuff. So yeah, this is a custom cover simply because the case that it comes with isn't a standard Blu-ray size, so it doesn't fit with the collection. Next up, speaking of Laurie Brewster, is The Unkindness of Ravens, which is a uh, follow-up to Lord of Tears. Um, really good flick. Again, custom cover because it's, uh, like, like I just said, you know, the original packaging just doesn't fit with the collection, so yeah. 
And we got uh, Lord of Illusions from Scream Factory. This is a release I'm really happy about because it's good to see these movies getting the love they deserve. And for a long time, Lord of Illusions was just kind of like forgotten, honestly. It's a damn shame. Then we got The Witch, Steelbook. I'm a big fan of Steelbooks, you know, when they uh, do stuff right. And this is a nice, classy looking Steelbook, so. Then we got uh, The Whisperer in Darkness, and this is from the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society. They do some of the best Lovecraft stuff around, honestly, and this is no exception. Really good movie, good Blu-ray. Buy this. Don't don't even question it. Just just buy it. Next is this is uh, another UK one. This is uh, when the lights went out, and what this is is um, this is kind of like the same basic story as um, the Conjuring Two. You know, it follows the same haunting in uh, New York, Yorkshire, I think it is. I don't know, somewhere like that. Um, really solid. Really pretty creepy, honestly. Um, this doesn't have an American release from what I know. Um, I think this Blu-ray actually might be all region as well. I'm not sure. But um, this is one that's worth looking, looking into. Next is... Uh, H.P. Lovecraft's The Color Out of Space. This one is, I think it's a, is it a German movie? Or, uh... I, th I think it's German. I'm not sure. Um, really solid, solid release. Uh, limited to a thousand copies, apparently. Uh, it, it's a good one. It's worth seeing, definitely. Then we got, uh, The Fog from Scream Factory. Um... It's just an all-time classic, let's be honest. Up there with Halloween, it's one of the most iconic John Carpenter movies. Then we got Ghostbusters. This is the Steelbook. Yeah. Really, really nice Steelbook, I gotta admit, you know. Um, good stuff. I got part two as well, but I just prefer the first one. Next is uh, From Beyond from Scream Factory. Again, it's good to see these, like, older flicks getting the real love they deserve in this one, you know. Really good stuff. Then we got The Beyond. This is a, an all-time classic from uh, Grindhouse Releasing. I love this movie. I really do. Lucio Fulci, like, at his, at his best, I think, at least, you know. Um, re really good movie. Three-disc set. Pick it up, definitely. Don't even question it. Next is uh, A Bay of Blood. This is, uh, again, a British Arrow release. One of these um, with the four different alternate covers to choose from. I pulled the disc out. It's too much work. Um, you could say almost like a proto-slasher. You know, but before the time of... Um, Halloween and Black Christmas and everything. I think it's uh, actually uh, late 60s, I want to say, when this came out. I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh, good flick, though. Give it a shot if you've never seen it. Next is Pieces. This one is awesome. It's, let's put it this way, a movie this bad, if you will, shouldn't have this good a release, but it does. And it's through Grindhouse releasing, so you know, you know, they always do a good three disc sets and everything. Really good stuff. Worth picking up. Splatter at its finest. Next we got uh Logan. This is uh the one that comes with like this bunch of cards and stuff. It's kinda neat. You know, good amount of features. Comes with uh Logan Noir, so that's always a good thing. Next we have Pontypool. This is a Canadian flick, and again, for some reason, we don't have a Blu-ray over here, but we could get it from Britain, so I did. Uh, it's an all-region Blu-ray, so if, you, if you're if you after picking this up, you can watch it anywhere. Good stuff, definitely. Then we got uh, Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead. I love this movie. It's hilarious. It's just, it's just awesome. Buy it if you've never seen it. Then we got... Battle Royale limited edition 
from uh, Arrow. This is the British version, which uh, comes with all this kick-ass stuff. You know, really, it's a three-disc set. Great stuff. You know, you can't go wrong with Battle Royale at any time. So, yeah. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. Last bunch right here. So, first up is uh, Taxi Driver. Again, this is a media book type thing, in a way. I mean, it's got like all this stuff in like a little pocket, so it's a little different, but uh, good release all around. Good release, good flick. Yeah. Next, we got the Steel Book of Dazed and Confused. Really simple Steel Book. I mean, you know, really simple. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a classic, right? Next is Black Christmas from Scream Factory. I, I love this movie. I really do. Uh, two disc set. Um, and it also has the original um, Seasons Grievings editions on, on there as well. So that's kind of neat to have the two versions. Next is Bite. This is Black Fawn distributing doing this. Um, this is a really good flick. Um, from what I know, it was actually filmed near where I live, you know, this basic area. So that's kind of neat. And it's a really good, it's like um, uh, body horror type stuff that's just really sweet. Next is uh, The Birds. It's a classic. What else do we really need to say about it? But tons of features, everything, good stuff. Then we got the Vincent Price Collection. This is the, the Volume 1. It's the only one I ever actually picked up, you know. It's got The Pit and the Pendulum, Fall of the House of Usher, Abominable Dr. Fibes, Witchfinder General, Haunted Palace, and The Mask of the Red Death. All really good, beautiful release, great stuff. And it's Vincent Price, let's be honest. Like, how can you go wrong with Vincent Price? Next is a Touch of Evil Steelbook. This is, again, from Eureka, Masters of Cinema. Great movie, great set, awesome, genuinely awesome. Next is uh, Train to Busan. This is a movie that really surprised me. It surprised me how much I actually liked the characters in this. I mean, usually with zombie flicks, you don't really care about the characters that much, but these were some, you know, you, you genu genuinely wanted to see these people live. Oh, hello. Yes. Random cat encounter. Hey. Next is uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the ultimate edition. This is from uh, Dark Sky Films. It's a nice, clean print. Looks really good. Um, and this kind of proves, I mean, this came out at the same time as um, uh, Salem's Lot. And this looks really nice and clear. The Salem's Lot Blu-ray looks kind of muddy and kind of dirty and everything so take that for what you will and this was shot in 16 millimeter too so yeah next up is uh tetsuo the iron man and tetsuo body hammer the third window films release uh from britain it's just neat to have these on blu-ray honestly good stuff this next one might come as a bit of a surprise to you if you've been following my channel for a while and that's the shining i've always said i find the shining to be an overrated movie and I do, but it's a beautiful movie. And this Blu-ray just it just it just shows how beautiful it is. You know, wonderfully shot. You know, I just I just find the movie as a whole not as great as it could be, you know, but that's just me, right? Teach their own. Next up is uh Doctor Strange. This is a movie you need to see on Blu-ray. If if you didn't get a chance to see it in the theater, you need to see it on Blu-ray. Because it looks great. Mm -hmm. Next is Death Note Collection. This is, uh, you know, the, the Japanese live-action movies. I actually like them. I mean, um, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty fun. You know, so yeah, it's, it's a good set. Good stuff. Next is uh, Demons. This is from Arrow Video as well, from Britain. Because simply... If you buy the American Blu-ray that's out now, you either have to pay exorbitant money for the 
steel book, which is pretty much out of print, and get features, or just buy a just the movie, bare bones release. This was about four pounds, and it's got tons of features. You know, like the reversible cover art and everything. It it it's a good buy. You know, if you can play uh, Region B stuff, I'd go I'd go that way personally. Next is uh, Die Die Delta Pi. This is uh, from Caps Collective Entertainment. Uh, this is number 20 of 100. You know, so it's it wasn't a big run. But uh, just a really fun little slasher from down in like the Florida area, from what I know. Uh, really fun stuff. Good movie. You know, give it a shot. Next is Ghost Story from Scream Factory. This is the alternate cover, the originals in there um great movie one of the few movies that genuinely scared me when i was a kid so yeah good story then we got jacob's ladder again one that's just kind of creepy and bothers you on some levels good movie good blu-ray then we got the classic invasion of the body snatchers um it is. It, it's a classic. This is the 70s remake with, um, what's his face? Uh, uh, Donald Sutherland and Leonard Nimoy. Admitted, seeing Leonard Nimoy kind of takes me out of it a bit. But, you know, a really good movie. And we got I Saw the Devil. This is, the again, the British release from uh, Optimum Releasing. And uh, the main reason I got this, not like the American one, is this is the proper uncut version of the movie you know so it's 144 minutes the u.s one is a trimmed down international version and um i, I don't roll that way i prefer seeing the original if i if i have the option next is the howling from scream factory good amount of features good picture really good stuff then uh return of the living dead from scream factory this is worth it just for the fact that it has, um, what is it, uh, more brains, a return to the living, a return to the living dead, the definitive documentary. It's like a three hour feature length documentary on the return of the living dead stuff. And it's awesome. And you know, the movie itself is awesome. Always has been. So yeah, that's, you knew that was going to be on there. Next is The Resurrected. This is actually getting a Scream Factory release. Uh, I think it's... I think it's this week, actually. Um, this particular one is a German release from uh, OFDB Films. Um, this movie is awesome. If you, love, if you like Lovecraft type stuff, buy this movie. Pick up The Scream Factory. It, you won't be disappointed. Great stuff. It's by um, Dan O'Bannon, guy that directed uh, Return of the Living Dead. So, you know, take that for what you will. Next, we got uh, Rigor Mortis by uh, Juno Mack. This is a Wellgo USA release. Um, really neat um, Chinese vampire movie. I just really dug it. Good effects, you know, real good stuff. Not not The disc isn't loaded. It's got a trailer and a few bonus features, but that's about it. But it's a really solid flick. Give it a shot. Next we got Stephen King's It. It's a classic. What else do you need to say, honestly? Let's be truthful. Next is uh, It Follows. This is the, again, the British release from, uh, who did this one? Icon. Uh, it, it was just cheaper than the American one. So, so I got the British one. <laughs> you know, good stuff though. Next is Criterion. This is In the Realm of the Senses by Nagisha Oshima. Oshima, my bad. I love this movie. I genuinely do. It's a really solid, good movie. You know, if, if you get a chance, see it. It's, it's, not, it's not horror. It's not, uh, though there are a couple of like horrific elements in it at points. And, you know, it's more of a drama, but it's really good. Next, we got uh, The Innkeepers by, uh, it's from uh, Ty West. Really good, creepy, haunted hotel movie. Then we got uh, Humanoids from the Deep uh, from the Roger Corman Cult Classics Collection from Shout Factory. Really fun, 
cheesy monster movie. You know, good stuff. Then, uh, Night of the Creeps, director's cut. Great flick. Honestly, it really is. It's a, it's a classic. Really good stuff. And it's got what's-his-face in it. Um, what's his name? Tom Atkins. That's reason enough. And last, but certainly not least, is the Universal Monsters Collection. This is uh, the British one again. It was cheaper than the American one, and uh, just all around better. So yeah. That's it for now. See you next time. So yeah, that's my top 100 Blu-rays. You know, um, things like this change as you go. You get one that'll knock one out of contention and uh, take its spot. But you know, it's just an all-around fun stuff. So yeah, you know, and really to all the subscribers, thanks for getting me up to 100 subscribers. Um, like I said before, I honestly never thought I'd get anywhere near that. So it's pretty pretty nice you know and also um just so you, that everyone remembers uh on the tumbling podcast of flesh we're uh giving away three copies of the movie it on blu-ray um just I'll, I'll leave a link in the description just go to uh fleshpodcast.tk click on the the contest tab it'll tell you everything you need to do you just need to do whatever it says and you know, have a chance to win. I mean, um, yeah, you know, go for it if you want. It's a, it's a fun movie, always has been. That's it for now. See you next time.